Raccoon Squad. How is everyone doing today? And welcome back to another vlog. So today it is Sunday, January 21st. Tomorrow is the 22nd and I'm making a dinner. It's about four o'clock right now. So I figured let's do dinner a little early today. We'll eat by five o'clock. <laughs> so tonight we're going to have some burger sliders with some roasted broccoli and fries. So I'm going to show you guys how I'm making it. I got my ground beef right here, extra lean ground beef with some, a little onion salt. I'm gonna cook that up. My broccoli all cut up in 4X, and then I'm gonna be adding some extra virgin olive oil, some salt and pepper. So I did add some chicken broth. I would have added beef broth if I had any, but I had some chicken broth. I'm just gonna cook the ground beef with some chicken broth. It adds flavor, but it kind of keeps everything kind of moist. I got my sweet Hawaiian rolls already cut up. I did buy some pretzel ones, which I'm super excited to try with the sliders. And of course I made myself a drink. <laughs> so for the drink, I just used, where is it? I don't even know where things are now. <laughs> for the drink, I just used one water bottle and one of these packets of high C. This is the fruit punch one. I just used one of the packets, put some ice and some water, and I made myself a cool drink. So I made some garlic Parmesan fries using this clubhouse garlic parmesan seasoning and a bag of the Cavendish french fries. I just used some extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna pop these in the oven. And here are my sliders. I've already added some cheese and I did add some maple bacon seasoning. So kind of give you that illusion that you're eating a bacon cheeseburger. Look at the pretzel bun. The Flex of Sea Salt, the King of Hawaiian Rolls. Looking good. Yesterday I did film two new reviews on drinks. One of them is the Pepsi Peach from In-N-Out Snacks. And then this Pepsi Vanilla from Malaysia, which you guys will have to stay tuned for the full video review. You guys won't want to miss these two. I will post when I will upload those on Instagram. So definitely go and follow me on Instagram. That's where I always let you guys know what's coming up next. And here is dinner, the finished product. Looking good. Got some broccoli, some Parmesan fries, and the sliders. So here is my plate, looking good. So I'm gonna say the one thing that I've always said when it comes to eating and about to eat. Bon appetit everyone, and let me know in the comment section below on what you guys are having for dinner. Let's talk, and I might try your recipe next. So it's almost 10 o'clock, and it's been a very long day. And I kinda want to get through some things in today's vlog. I want to talk to you guys about one or two extra things on top of what I'm already going to be talking about. But dinner was amazing. I always try to make the hamburger sliders. I'm not really sure if they're called hamburger sliders. I mean, they do resemble a hamburger, but I just call them sliders. So I try to make sliders at least once, once every week or so. Um, they are really good. They're pretty easy and they're convenient. You know, like they're easy. They're filling. Like you'll have three of them. You'll probably have an extra one, but most of the times three is really going to be filling. And I had about four because they're so good. And I had the two on a pretzel and one or two on regular Hawaiian rolls, but it was really good. Everyone in the house really, really loved them. And I try to make them like a uh, a staple thing like every week we normally have them they're really good they're like i said easy convenient i'm not sure if they're affordable because ground beef i've noticed today at the grocery store ground beef i've noticed it's it's getting up there like it's getting expensive i make it next time with ground chicken i have never made it with ground chicken but i love ground chicken and where i get it is marcados like i've said to you guys a couple of vlogs ago i always get my ground chicken for marcados cheap and it tastes fresh. And that's that's what the main point of any meal is as long it tastes fresh and it's delicious, packed with flavor, that's what really matters. I did that today, I did my grocery hunt, I did a couple loads of laundry, did the dishes. Today's been a really good day. I'm going to kind of like start vlogging more throughout the day, like today. I wanted to show you guys more what I'm eating in a day. I think that would be interesting for you guys to enjoy watching and i think all of you guys really enjoyed right for lunch today i actually had an easy food meal and i filmed that review which you guys will have to check out the full video review once it will be up i'm hoping 
I'm not even sure. I'm at this point where I filmed so many reviews, I don't even know when reviews will be up on getting the, the most relevant things out first. So like the retro donuts, I know they're only here for a limited time only, so I'm trying to get that up first. So I, that's why I had it for Saturday review. And then I wanted to film and review what Bailey and Tony had gotten me uh, in December. They always kind of get together as a bunch and they just buy me a whole bunch of stuff for me to review. And I was going to do that this weekend. That's what I had pre-planned, but I don't know, something always happens and I can't plan out my days. For some reason, plans never fall the way it should. So I wanted to do that this weekend, never got the chance to do that. So I'm hoping to kind of aim it for this week because I wanted to have it up on YouTube at least by the end of the month. That gives me like, what, a week and a half to do that. And I'm hoping to have it up for at least, if not this week, the latest, it'll be next Tuesday. I was originally was supposed to have it for up for this Tuesday, but I don't think that's gonna happen. So I'm kind of aiming at maybe next Tuesday, or maybe I'll do like a bonus review throughout the week. Maybe I'll post it on a Friday or a Sunday. So we'll see how everything goes. I'm definitely gonna keep you guys updated like on the vlog. That's why I always tell you guys to follow me on Instagram because that's essentially where I let you guys know and updated on everything. So I also want to talk to you guys about something that I used to do. If you guys remember a couple years ago, I did something called intermittent fasting and it worked really well for me. Like at some point, I think I had lost over 20 pounds. It worked so good. It kind of helped control your appetite and control on how much food you were eating. And I used to do 16, eight, so 16 hours fast, eight hour eating. So depending on what sort of intermittent fasting you wanna do, I did it like last year, but I was always falling through the cracks. Like I did it sometime like two days straight and the next minute I just fell off. I kinda want to push myself to stick with it this year. So starting tonight, I started my fast at eight and we're gonna do it in 16, eight and I might end up doing an 18 six depending on how well I'm doing with the 16 eight so 16 eight is basically 16 hour fast and eight hours of eating and there's a lot of health benefits towards intermittent fasting but it all depends on yourself basically because everyone is different and it might be something that you might want to talk to your doctor about I'm not a health advisor but I'm only saying that what worked for me back then and intermittent fasting has been uh, a great success for me because even with everything that I've ever done, intermittent fasting always seemed to kind of be the thing for me anyways. I would talk to a professional. Um, I have done this before, so I know exactly what I'm doing and it worked a lot. Like I've said, intermittent fasting, do some research. That's one thing I've always done. I've always done a lot of research on things that I want to do. I'm kind of looking into a protein powder I love Premier Protein, but it's getting to be really expensive. Like like a four thing of uh, Premier Protein is like almost $15 at Walmart. I think it's like 15. Maybe it was like at Food Basics. I think it was like 13, between 13 to $15 for a four pack, which is getting kind of crazy. So I'm kind of looking at maybe buying a tub of a protein powder um, that's good for weight loss because I heard there's a lot of protein powders that are available that that is for specific reasons. So some people, you know, buy protein powder to gain weight. Well, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a protein powder that kind of gives me a supplement of protein because I don't always eat enough protein in a day. Like I could, but if I can get like a supplement protein. So one thing that I've started doing is intermittent fasting again. I'm hoping to kind of keep you guys updated on my journey of intermittent fasting throughout the year through the vlogs of course because you know this is the way you guys know exactly what's going on with me in my life there is probably a lot of things i want to talk to you guys about but one last thing before i actually end the vlog i've been looking for body armor if you guys know what body armor is it's a new hydration drink and it's in canada i'm not sure if it's exclusive to canada or at least the companies in Canada, I'm not sure, but it's available at Circle K. And I think it was two weeks ago I went, they didn't have it. Even though they were advertising it on their Instagram page, they didn't have it. So 
we went back, or I should say my girlfriend went back. Uh, she went up for a walk yesterday to get milk, and I thought I'd ask her to look and see if they had any um, of the body armor. Of course, she sends me this picture, and I'm so glad she did because when I seen they finally did have a body armor, I told her to pick me up two bottles because it was $3.99, but there was a coupon on the Circle K coupons for one free bottle. Two bottles in my fridge. I got, I think the strawberry and raisin, if I'm not mistaken, and then strawberry and banana. Which one do you think sounds better? The strawberry raisin or strawberry banana? And if you guys have tried body armor, let me know in the comment section below. Which flavor have you guys tried and which flavor should I try next? So before we actually end the vlog, I know that was gonna be my last thing to talk about, but you guys will remember, I think a couple weeks ago, maybe last week or the week before, I did a vlog on, like, I'm not even sure. I wanna say liquid enhancers, but, but it's not. It's like flavoring packets and it kind of flavors your water. So I got a whole basket full. Yes, these are all liquid enhancers, or not liquid enhancers, liquid packets or packed flavoring. <laughs> so this is what I made for dinner. I actually made a drink and I made, no, not this one. So I made, yeah, this one. It was the high seat fruit punch. One thing I really enjoy about these, there is a best before date, but they still taste good even after the best before date. So. I had gotten these, I think it was a couple of years ago, like 2022 or 2021 at uh, the Dollar Tree. Some of them I did get at the Dollarama, like the Jelly Belly ones, I did get at the Dollarama. I think that was the only ones that I got at the Dollarama. The majority of them I got Starburst, High C, those were at the Dollar Tree. So I'm definitely going to bring some taste tests again on the vlog channel if you guys would like to see that. I do have some Kool-Aid packets. I'm not even sure if they're still good. I've had them for a while. <laughs> uh, there's some Jolly Rancher. I'm not even sure where I got these. I think it was a convenience store if I'm not mistaken. Maybe it was the uh, Lucky 7 variety. Yeah. So I might try these. Maybe I'll do a taste test on these. But this is like my drink basket. So this is going to be it for today's vlog. I do hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, show your support. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Definitely ring that bell notification so that way you never miss a vlog. Please consider following me on Instagram. That's where I'll let you guys know what's coming up next. I do want to thank you very much for watching. Definitely share this vlog with your friends and family. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace out.